So, solution to example 2, the wall is 2.5 meters high and consists of 51 mm by 102 mm uh, studs clustered on one side. On the other side is 13 mm fiberboard and 102 mm clay brick. Determine the average load in newton per meter of length of wall that the wall exerts on the floor. So, we need here the, a table for the loadings in kilopascals for the materials attached to this wall here, including the studs. So, this is the table and it is in your handout. I just cut the portion where we need the information about uh, the load, the equivalent dead load in the first column here be in pounds per square foot and this one is kilonewton per square meter. So for studs, 51.51 mm by 102 mm studs, then we have here 51 by 102 studs uh, plastered on one side. So plastered on one side, which is this. So it is 0 0.57 kilonewton per square meter or kilopascals. Then for the other side, we have a 13 mm fiber board. So we need a table for the the equivalent transmitted pressure for a 13 mm fiber board per height. But it, by the way, this is the figure. So on the other side, we have fiber board. 1 half inch or 13 mm. So the uniform pressure is 0 0.04 kilopascal. And lastly, we have 102 mm clay brick. That's 4 inches thick clay brick. So for walls, we have 102 mm clay brick. It is 1.87. So therefore, the uniform load, W, is equal to quantity in kilopascals. 0.7 plus 0.04 plus 1.87 and since the height of the wall is 2.5 multiply that by 2.5 to get uniform weight in kilonewton per meter so w is equal to 6.2 kilonewton per meter